Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Miranda and I am pursuing a weight loss journey to lose over 125 pounds. I'm currently at the end of week one of a 30 day challenge. So let's get into the details, shall we? So for week one, I just want to go over some of the brief highlights that happened this week. I'm not going to get into too many details, but I do have some recorded videos of what happened over the week. So I'm just going to go over what happened this week with some brief highlights along with those recorded videos. Today is Tuesday the 10th, the second day of my 30 day challenge. And today is the second Tuesday of the month. Any Tuesday like any other, but not for me. This is the second Tuesday of the month. And that is actually something different for me. You'll have to stay tuned to the end to find out because right now it's story time. Today has started my day as any other I sat down in my comfy lazy boy chair with the autumn theme of orange, brown, and white with the diamond pattern that you're used to seeing in my videos. However, over the last several months of sitting in that chair for eight hours a day, five days a week, unfortunately, it's not as comfortable as it might look for sitting in it for such a long period of time. And unfortunately, it's causing my hip to have problems when I sit in it for such a long period of time. It has a low seat, so it sits very low to the ground. So unfortunately, my butt sits lower to the ground, my knees are higher in the air, and it makes me feel like I'm riding in a low rider where my ass is dragging along the pavement. And because of this, it's causing my hip to have some problems because I already have aggravated it because of my elders Danlow syndrome. So for the last few weeks, Every morning when I get up, I look at my chair and I think I would rather stand all day at a non-standing work desk than sit in that chair feeling like I'm sitting with a porcupine jamming into my hip all day, causing me pain. So I spoke with my manager and I said, we have ergonomic chairs that are at the office that we use once a month when we go into the office. Is it possible that I can get my chair bought home so that I can use it at my home for an extended borrowing situation so that I don't have to worry about the dragon fire that happens on my hip as a regular daily basis? And like a shining knight on a white stallion or a bearded guy in a grand caravan, he came through today and now I have my ergonomic chair. It'll probably take a couple of weeks for my hip to go back to feeling a whole lot better on a regular basis. It is actually quite sore and I know that it's a novelty at the moment. I really want to keep moving and spinning in this chair. <laughs> Comment below if you have problems spinning around in a spin chair when you're sitting in it. It's got to be an ADHD thing, but I definitely want to have a spin in this chair right now, now that I've got it back. <laughs> and because I am supposed to have an ergonomic chair, they're reordering a new one for the office. I don't actually go back into the office until December now. Because we're only in the office every second Tuesday, I actually have the next two second Tuesdays booked off on vacation. So I'm not actually in the office until December. So I'm sure they'll have it all booked up and prepped into my workstation by the time I get back by then. I'm just so thankful that they could get this to me so that I can now be more comfortable working from home since it has been quite painful over the last several months working from home without it and I'm hoping that going forward I'm going to have way more mobility in my hip as this aggravation is healing. But overall I think today was a great success with getting the new chair 
or old chair in my new environment at home so that I can work from home with this chair and hopefully be in a much better position for my health working from home. So Tuesday, right at the very beginning of the week, was a really important day when that chair got delivered. And stick around to the end of this video to find out why. As well, it was Tuesday, so it also meant Martial Arts Day. Now, I didn't take any video while I was at the Martial Arts Club. There were a lot more people there on Tuesday due to the fact that it was the start of the fall term for training. So there were a lot more new people there that were just trying out the uh, art for the first time. So I didn't take any video at all. What I may do for next week is I'll take some video of what I look like in my gi before I go into the actual building or in just inside the building depending on weather so that you guys can see what I look like inside my actual outfit that I wear while I'm participating in my martial arts. The reason for this is is because it's a bit of a Frankenstein right now. Right now I'm in a couple of different sizes for what I wear. I wear a size 6 in my top, a size 5 in my bottoms, and a size 7 for my belt. So it's always good to have the before pictures and video so that you can see what it looks like before and as I size down, as I lose weight, what it looks like after. Hello, today's Thursday. Just finished with an on-camera meeting at work. So I thought I'd check in and update you guys. The chair is working magic. My hip is feeling much better, not like it's doing miracles and everything's fine, but it is starting to feel much better. So I know that this is the right choice, obviously, that I suggested bring my work chair home and everything will right itself in the long run. I can see going forward that working with my proper ergonomic chairs, since I sit in it for a majority of the day, um, being as I work in a seated environment, sitting in my ergonomic chair for eight hours a day is going to be the way to go rather than some other non-ergonomic environment. And I'm now requesting to see if we can get a addition to the workstation to see if I can get also a standing desk requirement. I've got a treadmill already in my home that my husband so graciously adapted to a walking workstation. So I'm seeing if there's a possibility that I can get something because I have a standing work desk at work. If there's something that we can have that is not an actual send me a standing work desk at home, but I've seen those tabletop types that just sit on an already existing desk that allows it to do the standing desk variety um, to like convert it. And I'm wondering if that is a, something that can be done at my house as well. And we'll see if I can get that. I'm not going to push my luck if they say no, but if you never ask, you never know. So that's something that I'm going to inquire about because I do already have a standing desk at work and see if we can get that sort of accommodation at my house as well, because I can definitely see if the ability to move around at home the way I do at work or have done in the past at work when we were in the work environment would be a lot better. Um, we do share our environment at work so that we only go in once a month now because our work environment has shrunk as far as physical capacity. There isn't the availability to return to work on a regular basis. Um, they sold off another building that we used to use. So we share a much smaller space with a much larger group of people. So there is not the capacity to go back to work the way we used to. So, and quite frankly, I don't want to go back to work. My commute is much smaller the 15 steps to get home is a lot nicer than having to travel to work, especially when they sold off the building that was closer and I do have to travel much farther. The buildings were very close. I actually went to work about two blocks from my house and the one that they kept is about 30 minute walk instead of 10 minutes. So still very close together, but I would have to walk farther and it's more than the 15 steps I do now. So... I have to accommodate myself in other ways to keep up the activity that I no longer get commuting into work. 
and that's where the walking workstation came into effect the way my husband built it so we've got that sort of situation handled that way i just would really like the standing work desk too if i could get one so i don't actually want in the standing work desks we have at work they're much bigger than the desk i have at home and would be cumbersome and not fit the space i have so if there's a tabletop variety we can get um accommodated i think that'd be better but we'll see so i'll let you guys know how that stands but that would probably be weeks if not months in the making so cross our fingers and we'll see if the new year provides any front on that So as you can see, it was a pretty busy week. This week being the first week of this challenge. There were some days where I didn't get all the video in that I wanted to. I'll have to be more mindful of that next week. But again, I work a pretty busy job that has a lot of clients. So not always the most advantageous for filming during my actual work day. I am also not a big fan of eating on camera. So I'm all for showing what I eat. I've got no problems with that, but actually seeing me eat it, not a big fan. So I will likely show more of what I eat or how I prepare it or how I prep for it, but I'm not a big fan of actually sitting down and having you guys watch me eat my food because I am not a big fan of filming myself eating. Now, Tuesday had my chair being delivered from my actual work and that was a big deal for this week because every day that I worked I sat in that chair and my hip has felt so much better over the course of this week. It definitely goes to show that having the proper equipment when you're working is a must for someone who is in a sedentary job. So if you currently are at a position where you work from home or you work at a workplace where you sit all day, please advocate for yourself if you feel that you need something that would put you in a better position to be more mechanically correct at work, such as an ergonomic chair, a footrest, a sit or stand desk, something along those lines, even something as simple as a better ear ergonomic keyboard and mouse. Anything and everything that can help is definitely something that can cause less pain down the road. I really like this chair, but it's not the greatest to sit in for eight hours a day while I do my work at work. So knowing this, I had to get my work chair back and I've been sitting in it every day. I've been at work and my hip is feeling much better over the course of this week. And going forward, you're probably going to see while I film during my work hours, you're going to see my ergonomic chair in the background behind me. So that's it for this week. Please subscribe below so you don't miss next week's video. And until next time, stay amazing.